What is going on guys? Today we are building a little power pack. Basically it's going to be a little thing that I can charge things or even power little motors. Um, anything that runs off DC voltage, I'm going to be able to power it from my Milwaukee batteries. Let's get into it and show you what I'm thinking. So what started this whole project was a little Coleman air pump to air up an air mattress. So the thing gets used once or twice a year in a rail camping, runs off D batteries. Every time you go to get it out, the batteries are dead. Last time I got it out, one of the batteries had exploded, corroded all my contacts. Thing didn't really want to work. There's nothing wrong with the motor or the pump itself. It's just all the contacts. So I was trying to come up with a better way to power this thing. And this is what I've come up with. So anytime I go camping or go out to do something, I've always got Milwaukee batteries, either the 12 or the 18 volt with me, just to power, you know, I've got a chainsaw, I've got lights, I've got all kinds of Milwaukee tools. So I usually have one of these batteries with me. So my thought is, how can I power this guy with one of these? Now, I could just run some wires directly from this, my positive, negative, run this motor. Problem is, this is 12 volts. This little motor runs on about three volts. So it'll spin it up really fast. You'll burn that motor up and that'll be the end of that. So I needed something to step the power down from a 12 volt battery or an 18 volt battery to power this or any other number of things. And this is what I found. This is a DC buck converter. So basically a step down converter. Bought this thing off Amazon. I will throw the link for this in the description below if you want to pick one up. It's pretty simple. So it's got voltage adjustment and it's got an amperage adjustment. This one's actually nice because it's got a little LED screen that'll show you uh, your output. You've got two wires, a positive and a negative for your input. Two wires, positive, negative for an output. And this one also has a USB plug. So not only can I run you know, my air pump or whatever else I want, I can charge phones, I can charge anything that'll plug into a USB, or I can run my alligator clips over to, and say for instance, I had a battery like this, a little six volt battery, and I want to charge it with my Milwaukee battery, I could do that. Step it down to the right voltage, hook some alligator clips to this battery, and be able to charge that. The other thing I could do with this, if I wanted, is you know, I could take a battery like this, you know, a little six volt battery, and I could have that as my input and use this to power things. So it gives me a lot of flexibility on what I can do. Now you could make this super simple. It's not what I've done, because I apparently like to make everything hard, but you could take this guy, have two wires running out, took to a battery, two wires running out the other side to plug into whatever you wanted, could be its own standalone thing. What I've actually done is I've 3D printed some parts. Basically what I want to do is I want to mount this to the box. So I've 3D printed a box here. I um, want the wires to be inside. I've got a lid to go on the back of it. Um, back of this, you want some airflow. So I've got a place for some air to go in and out. I'm going to run my wires out of these holes. My lid has the cutouts for getting into the screws for the input and the output. Then what I'm gonna do is I've got this, which is from a Milwaukee uh, M12 drill. So if I mount this guy here, run some wires off of it, I'm gonna be able to take that M12 battery, snap it on there to power my system. But I also wanted to be able to use M18 battery. So, what I've done is 3D printed this guy for the M18 battery to snap into. Now what I'm able to do is take a blue spade connector, pull the, the blue insulation off of it, and then what that'll do is that will set right down in there and that'll give me my prong for my positive and my negative. So just for an example, Got one connected to a wire here. I can drop that guy right in there like that. 
this whole thing it's got place for the wire bolt together on top then I've got a positive and a negative coming out I'm gonna mount this to my lid running the wires once again back inside that box now this design I just pulled this off Thingiverse so that was something that was existing pretty slick design I can throw the link in the description for this guy if you want it this is something that I just drew up basically I took there's a back panel that comes with this it's supposed to bolt to the bottom I was able to get all my measurements off of this figure out all my hole locations and get everything lined up so we're gonna go ahead and start getting this thing put together I'm just gonna time lapse the assembly process and then show you how it works <laughs> So, got the 18 volt battery adapter put together. Once again, I've got my little spades. Got your positive, your negative. Got some two and a half millimeter bolts with nuts on the back to hold this two pieces together, which hold the wires in. I've also got a spot for three countersunk screws to hold it to the plate. And then once again, our battery will just snap in just like it would into a tool. Got the little ears to catch the retaining tabs. So this is where we're at. We've got our buck converter mounted. I've got my power wires run up. I've got those tinned so they make a good connection. I've got my M18 wired in. And then I've also got my M12 wired in. So now what I need to do is I'm gonna epoxy this down here let it set overnight. We'll come back and put this the rest of the way together tomorrow. 24 hours later. Adapter up top. This guy, I spliced the wires together and then I've got my M18 that I'll mount here at the bottom. Now what that means is if I've got a M18 battery on here, I cannot put an M12 on here. Now, since I'm the only one that's gonna be using this, I'm not too worried about that. I can either have an M12 or an M18. Also, I need to keep in mind that these leads will be hot. If I've got a 18 volt battery in here, these ones will be hot. Vice versa if I have a 12. So I just need to keep that in mind, use one battery at a time. But this gives me the versatility to use either the 12 or the 18 with this unit. So now I need to go through, get my wires put in, Get this mounted to the base plate and then I need to attach the base plate to the whole assembly. Okay, that guy mounted. We got our input wires put into the buck converter. Now I've got six screws I'm going to use to mount this all together and then we will need to get some wires out with some alligator clips to be able to hook on to whatever we want to power. Here we are, final product. Once again, our M12 battery goes up top, M18 on the bottom. We've got access to the screws for our in and our, our out wires, in case I want to take the leads off or switch them out or anything. I think now we uh, just need to test it out, see how it works. Power it on, all we've got to do is throw our battery on. It's going to turn the screen on. The screen has got 
backlight. Now there's a couple screens built into this. So out, we can see it's putting out 8.2 volts, no amps because it's not hooked to anything. If we come in here, it'll show you out, F0, F1, it's gonna show you what's in. So 12.2, that's our Milwaukee battery. And then if we come to F0, I believe it is, it flashes. Okay, F0 is out. There's F1, which is in, which means F2, yes, there it flashes. So out 8.2, in 12.2. And it's just gonna flash back and forth between the two. Now I'm gonna probably leave this set to out because I know I've got 12 volts in or if I've got my 18 volt battery, I know I've got actually 20 volts from an M18 battery. So I'll probably just go back and set it to just show what's out. Now we've got voltage adjustment, amperage adjustment. You're not gonna see anything until we get some something hooked up to it on the amperage, but for instance, if I want to use the USB port here to charge a phone, a phone's gonna be five volts. So we can see, we can just dial that down. Bring it all the way down to five volts. Doesn't have to be exact. So there's four, nine, six. Let's plug in a USB, see if this thing works. So being new, I don't know where that amp output is set. It's gonna go ahead and back the amperage screw out. Now if I look at my actual phone charger, most of the time, they're gonna say right on here, this one shows five volts, two amps. So I could go up to two amps to charge my phone. Let's see if we plug this in for USB. So we've turned our amps all the way down, so I'm probably gonna to have to turn that up before we see anything. You know, actually, I do believe this has a USB setting. You have to turn it to USB before it's gonna output um, your USB. So let me unplug that. USB, hit enter. There I get my USB light. Now let's see what it does. So there we can see our amperage output. There my phone screen came on. It's recognizing a charge. I'm gonna see if we can increase the amp output. And we can't, so that tells me the phone is probably metering that it's only taking about half an amp charge. So 4.95 volts, about half an amp charging. And we can see that my phone is charging. So that's one of the uses that we could use this thing for with just powering or charging something with USB. Now, if I want to run something, so like I said, I wanna run this mattress air pump. Um, I turned it off USB, back to it's showing 5.9 volts out, no amps in. Let's hook it up to my pump here. So we can hear a pump firing up. We've got air coming out of it. Now if I want to run this thing a little faster, let me come in here. As I increase the amperage, running that motor faster. 
Now we've got really good air output. Be able to use it for an air mattress. Anything else that is DC powered, this thing's gonna work awesome for. Now on this, you know, I'm, what I might actually do is just solder some leads off of each of those. Run them out the hole here so I have connection points just on the outside where I could hook right onto it. Maybe even a, a bolt into the bottom of this, wires right into the back of it, gives me almost like a battery, positive and negative battery leads to connect to my pump. If I want to move over, I can take my 12 battery out and flip it over. Put my 18, same thing. So our output's still the same because that was preset on our unit. But if we come and look at N, now our N is showing 20.4 volts. So that's gonna give us the ability to have more output with a higher input. Now, I'm running mine off a Milwaukee battery. Like I said, I built this box, 3D printed some stuff. Once again, you could make this super simple. Just buy this buck converter, run some wires out, in and out, you got your power in, you got your power out, easy peasy. If you got a generic battery like this that you want to run it off of, that's not a problem either. You just find your positive, your negative, um, connect in to each side, that'll be your input, output, make it whatever you want. So just to show you, this does have a little circuit protection built in. You can see our in, 20 volts, out five. If we were to short circuit this, basically gives you a red light, only putting half a volt out. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I think it's gonna be really handy out camping or just to throw in the car just to have in case you wanna charge anything, power anything that runs on DC. It could be anything from a pump to a fan to uh, a motor, anything like that. I will throw the link for the uh, buck converter down in the description if you want to pick one up. Otherwise, see you guys next time.